resting between sets and exercises is crucial for regaining your strength and preparing for the next set. But how much rest is ideal and when are you getting too little or too much? That's what I will talk about in this video. To start off, please keep in mind that the ideal rest period will be the result of several factors like your goals, how heavy you lift and what exercise you are doing. As for goals, generally speaking, the more you want to train for strength, the longer your rest period should be. The more you want to train for endurance, the shorter your rest periods should be. When it comes to how heavy your exercise is, again, the more heavy you are lifting, the longer your rest period should be. This is kind of obvious because more weight means more stress placed on your muscles. And lastly, what kind of exercise you do will also influence your ideal rest times. Compound exercises, which generally involve heavy lifting, require more rest than isolation exercises. Based on these three factors, your rest time will range from a few seconds to more than three minutes between sets and exercises. Let's talk about three examples. First, a rest time of less than a minute. This will train mostly muscle endurance and give your muscles little time to prepare for the next set. It should be used if you train for muscle endurance or do some sort of interval or circuit training. Next, we have a rest time of between one and two and a half minutes. This definitely gives your muscles more time to recover and will be better for muscle growth. You will not have recovered completely, especially at the lower end of that range, but two and a half minutes is definitely a good rest period for most exercises when your goal is to build muscle. Lastly, we have rest periods of over two and a half minutes. Here you will see more and more effects on your strength for the next set because your muscles and central nervous system just have more time to recover. However, the amount of fatigue and metabolite accumulation, all of which play a role in fat loss, building muscle and improving muscle endurance are also lower. So this range is good for anyone with a focus on strength gains. While two and a half to three and a half minutes are often used among bodybuilders. Anything above that is normally only used by strength athletes or powerlifters. That's why my recommendation for you is to stay between one and three minutes between sets. The higher your training intensity and the heavier your exercise, the more you should stay near the two or three minute mark. And isolation exercises and lighter weights only require one to two minutes of rest. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.